Welcome back to my channel. Today's weekly video we are starting at Le Grand Buffet in Narbonne, France, home to the largest all-you-can-eat buffet in Europe. Once you are seated at the table, you get a menu with a map not to get lost. No, right, just kidding. It's a menu with a description of main areas of the restaurant, food suggestions, product examples, and so on. And then basically you go on a hunt for your first meal. The Grand Buffet offers the largest cheese selection in the restaurant in the world. Well, according to Guinness World Records. And not to forget what you are actually eating, uh, there are tags that you can put on your plate. How smart is that? Okay, guys, this is just unbelievable. <laughs> so much food, but very, very nice food. I'm currently eating uh, foie gras, and there's incredible thing as creme brulee with foie gras. Yeah. It's the first time actually I see something like this, but um, very bad. And I'm still kind of at my entree. Um, and there are a lot of meals I had. <laughs> but I'm super excited, like we really didn't eat the whole day. Uh, or like very small portions. Uh, yeah, and it looks very, very nice as you can see. I couldn't move on to a main dish for a long time. I am a fan of appetizers, so I went for another one. And this time it was a lot. If you can even call it an appetizer. For the main dish I had a grilled oyster, which was very very good, and then the desserts marathon started. <laughs> 50 types of homemade cakes and pastries made by pastry chefs. Chocolate fountain fruits, black forest cake, clear, baked apples, pancakes, ice cream, chocolate mousse, and so on. So basically everything that you could think of is the the whole experience was a solid 10 out of 10. Don't eat uh, prior to coming there because you would really want to savor every single bite. Good morning. Other people are also sleeping, so I'm trying to be a bit more silent. I just wanted to catch up with you and tell you what was happening for the last week. We are still in Marseille. Tomorrow we are going back home and I'm, I'm excited but it was very nice actually to see all the friends and every day we went out so it was very nice to stay here and um, actually for those who don't know I uh, lived in Marseille. I moved here when Covid started so it was uh, 2019, I think I moved at the end of the year, maybe November, December, and then in a couple of months, uh, COVID hit. So it was a special experience <laughs> in uh, Marseille being locked up. In France, it was quite uh, severe. Like it wasn't as in Latvia where you could kind of do more or less everything i would say especially in comparison to france uh, we were really locked up uh, for maybe three months completely it wasn't supposed to be like this i thought i will move to marseille and uh, warren and i will get a place again with covid it was very difficult and we were locked up but we stayed here for two and a half years before we moved to uh, Belgium. And it's been now almost three years, very close to three years as uh, we're there. So yeah, 
and uh, this week actually we were just working i mean we're not on vacation so we are still working during the day and then in the evenings we're going out to see some friends and unfortunately i don't have a lot of footage from this week or from marseille to show you how beautiful it is or give you some advice yesterday we went to Narbonne that's where we currently are we went to a very famous buffet it's I don't know it's like in the middle of nowhere but it looks incredible inside and the different kinds of foods they have it's just another story with a cheese for example they have like 80 different kinds of cheese I mean you saw in the video like it's just a wall of of cheese and same for the seafood desserts like there is a specific area just for desserts with like chocolate fountain uh, fruits pies like everything was there also it was kind of semi celebration for warren's birthday uh that was at the beginning of this week and yeah it was super cool to experience something like this and as i have mentioned before it's uh, really not expensive i think it was 55 euros and you just eat whatever you want uh, plus you also pay for the drinks for example we had um, a bottle of champagne i believe for 25 euros i mean where did you hear about this kind of prices as i understood they are selling for example wine or champagne at the same price as they are buying it from the caves mm. so it's really at the low price and you can purchase uh, like boxes of wine there so it's just maybe like a nice advice if you're somewhere around in the south and you are not going to Champagne region or I don't know Bordeaux or like whatever uh, that is more famous for wine you can really do it here we are staying in Airbnb we are seven people uh, and it looks very nice like I don't know like even the hanger behind it's like so rustic and very stylish I really really um, I really like it. it looks very cool i just brush my teeth wash my face i'm about to put some makeup on i think nothing major for today i mean with me it's uh, and makeup it's really nothing major especially i think since covid <laughs> as we're speaking about it it really changed uh, with uh, covid and me moving to france I think I also want to show you the house because outside it's very nice. It's, I don't know, I, I really love this house. We are only staying for one night, unfortunately. Um, but the owner of this house is super nice. She even um, asked us if we want to stay like kind of for another night so she can arrange it and uh, we can check out later just take our time and uh, yeah enjoy our morning because we arrived only late in the evening yesterday and, uh, yeah i will take you also on a little tour around the house uh, once i get ready i think i will use this uh, tent from chanel medium light And for brows, I'm using Benefit 24-hour brow setter. I've been using it for, honestly, years. And I really love it. It's see-through, so it doesn't have any like additional color. And it just sets the brows the way I love it. And it lasts uh, the whole day, so they're really not moving. I mean, my brows are not that hard, so it's not... Again, that hard to just kind of keep them in place, uh, but I'm very satisfied with this product. Recently, I restarted using my brow pencil uh, from Glossier. It's called Brow Flick. It's in color brown and it's just like a tiny little sharp pants.
nothing much is changing i feel like with this makeup but i'm really a fan of like kind of see through very natural um products and it's saturday today so we definitely don't need anything happy and i have recently bought this nars concealer and i think it's time to try it out i'm just using my finger well let's try to brighten the eye as well it's it's quite light but it has a very nice coverage it kind of mattifies a little bit but honestly not a lot not as my other one because if i need to mattify usually i will use laura mercier uh, translucent powder i think it's called translucent loose setting powder honestly i'm afraid i have it this exact <laughs> same bottle for like three years and it's like completely full i'm not using it a lot but maybe in the summer um i do use it or maybe just like a t-zone uh so yeah on occasion but i really enjoy this product now we are at our last step and this will be the blush another product from glossier uh cloud paint in color dusk this is my go-to blush also for many years so like if i like something i stay with it it's quite pigmented so i'm just taking a little bit on my finger here and I put several dots on my face. I kind of use it as a contour as well. So that's why I put it also around. It blends in very easily. And also I like to use it on my eyes just to bring the same color and that's kind of it for now i'm getting dressed and i'll show you the house around we're going with something very simple and comfy it's one of my favorite long sleeves uh, from our cat. Fans are from About You. It's a collaboration with um, Marie. I don't remember her name, last name. But her name is Marie. Uh, she's an influencer and I really like her style. And when she released the collaboration with them, I thought that. Maybe I should check it out. And I really love the couple of pieces. So it's not the only thing that I have. These white pants are very lovely. They're a bit... Well, they need a bit of iron. But I really love the look of them. Let's go and see how the house looks like. Here how the first floor looks like when you enter. So like, let's go to the kitchen. Unfortunately, we'll not be using it a lot. If we go out, we'll be able to see also a little table here. And if we turn back the entrance, here is like a chill zone. A very nice fireplace and a nice sitting area there's a couch where someone can stay room here is just a simple toilet with the sink if we go up there is one bedroom we will not go there there are people another bedroom bathroom that's the view below here it was our room with Warren. Outside of the house 
is very, very cute. Okay, so here is the outside and basically the kitchen is there. And if we go back, it will be my favorite corner of the house and you will see why. Ta-da! Isn't it beautiful? Ah, oh, perfect.